Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a buy now button color in Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So to change the buy now button color in your Shopify store, what we need to do is we need to access the following sections here. So I'll be showing you the easiest way here just to make sure that you are able to change it. In this case, go to your admin page, which is in this case going to be admin.shopify.com, log in and access your store. Now from here, let's go and click on customize. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to our product page. So at the top section, go ahead and click on the home page. You want to go to products and other products you want to go to default product. Now from here, as you can see, we have the buy now button. So what we need to do is we need to select a the specific section where the buy now button is going to be located. So typically, typically it's going to be the product information section here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, at the right side, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here until you see the section for custom CSS. Now, from here, we need to indicate what we want to change. So for us to identify what we want to change here, which in this case is going to be the buy it now button here, let's go ahead and right click on the empty spaces we see here on our screen. So typically, I want to go to the left side or in empty sides here, right click on it and you want to choose inspect. So by the way, if you're curious, I'm using Google Chrome here. It's just uh, so if you want to replicate it exactly what I'm doing right now. Now in this case, at the top right, go ahead and click on the selector tool here. And from here, we want to uh, basically hover over this section. Now if you're unable to select it, make sure to select the buy buttons first. Go ahead and click on the selector again and choose the buy it now. Now from here, once you've selected that, expand the inspector here. Scroll up and you want to hover on the specific element. So for example, you have this button here, as you can see, it's being highlighted. So it means that this is, this is the uh, button that I want to update. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to copy the actual um, button or the class for that button. So in this case, for this one, it is going to be the class Shopify payment button here. So in this case, you can go ahead and double click on the class section. Now you just need to copy the first uh, section here, which in this case is going to be the class for it. So in this case, let's go ahead and right click on it, click on copy. And from here, we could go ahead and close this one and go back. Again, go, go ahead and click, uh, select the product information section, which is in this case the container for our buy it now button. At the right side, you want to go to custom CSS and you want to type in the following. Now, since this is going to be a class uh, type of name for that tag, what we need to do is we just need to press dot and you want to paste what we just copied the name for that tag. And we want to actually uh, specify some uh, cascading sheets uh, changes here. So in this case, uh, what, uh, what, like, what, what I said before, go ahead and type in dot, paste the name itself. And you want to add brackets to uh, enclose this. Now, in this case, all you need to indicate in uh, within it is going to be background and add a colon and you want to indicate the color. So for example, I'm going to choose red. I want to end this with a semicolon. I want to copy the whole thing and I want to paste it under custom CSS. Now, once you've done that, once you click on the empty space here, as you can see, it now updates the actual color. Now, in this case, you could also use a hex color here if you want to. So I have this color picker open up here. So maybe I want to make it blue. Let's go ahead and make this blue. So maybe I want to use a light, uh, lighter color here, maybe this one. Let's go ahead and click on copy on the hex here. I want to go back here and I want to actually paste this section here or the color. And once we actually go back in here, that should update itself. As you can see, by it now, it's color blue. Now, in this case, uh, that's about it. So the thing here is why we actually put it within product information because we only want to affect the actual button that is within by it now. So you'll notice that there is a, a theme settings here and under custom CSS in the section here. But this custom CSS at the left panel here actually applies on the whole website. So we only want to apply this on the specific section. So that's why we went to the product information page or section first and went to the CSS at the right side of the screen here. But yeah, so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.